Hello and welcome to RetroTech 100. I'm going to start a project today. Now, I play a lot of Retro Pie, as you might know, and I like to use this stick. It's great, nice big buttons, and I like it a lot. What I don't like is this keyboard tray that I never use for the keyboard. It's just there languishing ends up getting covered in crap. Now I've got a spare set of arcade buttons. I've got two sets of these. So what I thought was, why don't I build an arcade stick in my desk, in this piece of wood that I never use. It's fairly sturdy and it's a great surface. The buttons. First I've got to work out where I'm going to put the buttons. Now I like the layout of this. So I think I'll just emulate this. Plus I can't print anything out and print this out of ink as usual. So it'll be a ruler and pencil job. So I've made some initial marks, I drew out some holes. So let's go finish the job. Patient as me, you'll probably make a better job of it. Yeah. Eight buttons in now, six buttons. I'm playing the game. Start and select or start and coin, and that's how it's going to look on the top. I might have to reset the joystick underneath to uh, make the shaft longer because this wood is quite thick. It's got it's got full throw range. But it just makes the stick short because the wood's so thick. But I don't have a think on that anyway. Now to do the underside. I think here's probably the best place for my encoder board. I'm just going to velcro it to the base of the wood. Velcro it on. On these controller boards, this is poor one. But if you're using RetroPie, it really doesn't matter. There you are, that's how it will sit. Probably move all these wires together with a tie wrap. Uh, maybe box it in in the future. But I don't know if you will need to do that in a minute. I'm going to want it about 
ってそうだよねでもよねうんもの羽織るしこれでもうんフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフッフThat's what it looks like finished. All the buttons and everything are working. That's any game you want. Back out. Go on along all the consoles. If you haven't got RetroPie yet, you should really get a Raspberry Pi. It's the easiest way to have all your games in one place. Anyway, back to the stick. So this is what it looks like underneath. You've got your buttons, your stick, and they're all connected to this little USB encoder. It doesn't matter where you connect these buttons, as long as you start from button one, connect them any which way, because you can configure them in RetroPie. Just put a bit of strain relief on there for the USB wire. And that USB leads going straight to my Raspberry Pi. And it just slips back in here. Like so. I'm going to just push it out of the way when I don't need it. Right. Show you some games running.
cost of 20 quid, you can have your own arcade stick. These look pink, but they're red actually. You can make it into anything, it doesn't have to be your desk, it could be a piece of wood, it could be an old box you've got lying around. It'll do the same job. You just wire it up, hook to your retro pie, and away you go. And for the sake of, uh, I don't know, seventy dollars, you can have an arcade experience. You just have, get your retro pie, follow loads of tutorials that are online. I'll put retro pie on Raspberry Pi. With a combination of an arcade stick and retro pie is a gamer's dream. This has been Retro Tech One Hundred. I'll see you next time.